Firefighters Without Borders Canada is conducting a comprehensive electric vehicle extrication and long angle rescue training exercises for St. Lucia Fire Service this week. The training, which got underway on Tuesday at the Fire Service Training School, provided firefighters with the knowledge and skills they need to safely respond to incidents involving EVs. The program is designed to assist more than 50, car um, more than 50 countries um, with its shift to electric mobility, St. Lucia, Grenada, um, Antigua and Barbuda and Jamaica being the four Caribbean territories currently under this particular program. It is um, very fitting that the fire department had approached our team, our project management team, um, to partner on this specific or this particular training exercise for our firefighters. Um, we believe that this training session is critical not just for our firefighters, but to build a confidence in our country and in our community at large. The EV extrication training covered the unique hazards of EVs, including the potential for electrical shock and exposure to hazardous chemicals. Firefighters learned how to safely identify, locate, and isolate EV batteries, as well as how to use specialized tools and techniques to extricate victims from the EVs. Uh, today's training symposium workshop is going to include uh, electric vehicle awareness for firefighters. We're going to begin with a breakdown on lithium ion batteries and the shift of battery powers that we're seeing not only here in St. Lucia but across the world. It is posing a lot of hazards for firefighters, dangers. So we're gonna talk about the safe handling, overhaul and disposal of these batteries, as well as we're gonna go over the electric vehicle anatomy and the fire considerations, specifically um, what's called thermal runaway. And uh, we're gonna talk about electric vehicle fire behavior. And we're gonna introduce all of the concepts for um, safe firefighting and extrication considerations. And then later on in the day, we're gonna go over um, some of the international best practices to both suppress and to extricate as well as reviewing some standard operating guidelines that we would like to help um, St. Lucia Fire Service and introduce some language to protect um, and to provide guidance for all the firefighters here. The training program was designed using a train-the-trainer approach, empowering participants to share their newly acquired knowledge and skills with their colleagues. I think everybody is really excited um, to introduce some something that's um, taking the world uh, into, a, into a, a different place on how we do our jobs. So I think it's exciting to be able to take this information, apply it to real world application and uh, everyone can get it out on the field and, and share the news. Um, it is a train the trainer model. So we would like to provide the tools for all of the fire service personnel here today and allow them to share that knowledge um, and sustain that knowledge moving forward. The acting deputy fire chief says the training is timely, especially with the increasing prevalence of hybrid and electric vehicles on St. Lucia's roads. More of those things are coming on island, and um, we we have some knowledge. But um, the Canadians without um, firefighters without borders have come and um, got to get us um, more, give us more information on how to extricate and um, extinguish fires involving electrical vehicles. It's a train-the-trainer program. We, we expect that um, after it's, more, it's get more, more towards senior fire officers, um, more crew chiefs and um, supervisors, so uh, at the end of the program, they, they can impact their knowledge on the um, subordinates and um, that um, training will filter throughout the fire service. The long angle rescue training which is focused on the techniques and equipment needed to safely rescue victims from high-rise buildings and other difficult to reach locations was scheduled to begin on Wednesday. Firefighters will learn how to use ropes, pulleys and other equipment to safely raise and lower victims from elevated positions. The training exercises are part of Firefighters Without Borders Canada's ongoing commitment to support firefighters around the world. Firefighters Without Borders Canada has been working with the St. Lucia Fire Service since 2017, providing training on a variety of topics including fire prevention, firefighting techniques, and disaster response. Joachim de Plessy, HDS News Force.